Good morning, it's Wednesday the 24th of August, this is Coffee with God. Uh, Trust that you've got a decent cup of coffee and you're ready for this day. If you have your Bibles, turn to Luke chapter 21, Lukas, Wurstek, Jan Twintag. From verse 1 of Luke 21, I'm going to read a couple of verses. Jesus looked up and saw the rich putting their gifts into the treasury. And he saw a poor widow putting in two small copper coins. And he said, Truly I say to you, this poor widow put in more than all of them. For they, all out of their surplus, put into the offering. But she, out of her poverty, put in all that she had to live on. And uh, we all know this account. We all know this part in the Gospels. Uh, The thought that it... uh, brings out in me is we must never look at what we have or what we don't have. Um, When Jesus looks at our life, he sees so much more than what we think we have. He sees the talents, the abilities, he sees in our littleness uh, so much potential. And today I want to encourage you, I want to challenge you actually, to go into today and and think about making a huge difference, uh, a a, a supernatural difference in your natural ability because God is with you. And it's about the availability, not about the profitability. It's not about what you have to give. It's how are you willing to give, how you make yourself available, your time, your People often don't volunteer an opinion. They don't volunteer to to suggest anything because they feel so insecure and inadequate in what they have. And I'm not talking just about the material. I'm talking about your intellectual ability. I'm talking about your personality. Some people think they don't have a personality to share. And yet even your personality was given to you by God. I was with some people yesterday and I spoke to them about... um, uh, the, the father, the husband has just died and um, asked him, so what kind of, uh, what would he have said uh, if he could be at his own funeral? What would he say? What would he want to say to you? And they said he was a man of very few words. He was not a people person and he uh, he wouldn't have said much. He would have just said, thank you for you all being here. And that's so awesome. Um in his non-verbals, they knew that he appreciated them. So never underestimate, never ever underestimate your personality, your traits, your mannerism. If you're a people person, if you're outgoing, if you're introverted, uh, the Lord has made you and the Lord is happy with where you're at. He's busy shaping, he's busy working, he's busy molding, he's busy improving. Uh, While you're still breathing, that's awesome. But... Uh, The Lord is is okay with where you're at. You need to trust Him that He's working a good plan in your life and through your life. He's got you where He wants you to be, and He can work it out for the good. You just have to be available. This this poor widow, she gave out of her poverty. She gave out of what she didn't have to give. She gave the last of what she had. Um, And the Lord wasn't impressed with the rich who gave out of their surplus. Uh, So... Blessed are the poor in spirit, for they will inherit the kingdom of God. Be, be aware of where you're at, who you are, and allow the Lord to use you supernaturally in this day. Your words, your abilities, your talents, and your treasure, uh, your assets, that which you think you don't have enough of, it's enough to make a difference in the Lord's hands. Have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. May the Lord bless you. And uh, if you have time, come and drink a cup of coffee. But uh, if not, just enjoy that coffee and think about what impact you're going to make today with what you have in your hands right now. God bless you.